Welcome to Seashorn Vlog and in this video we're going to show you around the Village Hotel Sentosa. We are. We are. We've stayed here for the last couple of nights. So we filmed the room tour on the first night and here's the room tour. Room 5077. Yeah, for electronic key cards. As you come in, on the left is the accessible bathroom. So it comes with flat rolling access for the wheelchair. Lots of grab bars, a seat, handheld shower and a rain shower. Grab bars around the toilet, along with fancy toilet stuff, drying your bum and things maybe, I don't know, job and easy. Big mirrors and a sink and lots of space under there to roll a wheelchair under there as well. And you get escape, body lotion and hand wash over here. And then escape bath gel and conditioning shampoo here. And lots of towels. Next to the door, these are the light switches for the bathroom. And the do not disturb, come and make up my room. And you need to put your key card in there for the electronics in the room to work and the air conditioning. There are some full length mirrors and a really wide space for getting into this room. A big king bed with a beautiful woman lying on it. Hello there, beautiful. Sockets beside the bed. Uh, it's British sockets in Singapore. Nice light, little painting beside it. And then on this side, you've got the concierge phone, a little desk, which I'm guessing is for storing luggage and there's a Bible there. And there's the view, we don't have a view from this room. Luggage storage here and then in this drawer, you got a hair dryer and slippers and in this drawer of the safe always useful you have a fridge which is free to use and that's what the fridge looks like a couple of shelves there there's a kettle some nice mugs more sockets this is the wardrobe so you would think that those were doors behind those mirrors but no that that's they're just mirrors there's no wardrobe there a little bin, a stool to sit on, and a big desk that you can roll the wheelchair under, and the TV. What's your first impressions of the room? It's nice. The it smells nice as well. The whole whole hotel smells nice. Um, How comfy is the bed? It it's at the moment it it's comfy because I've just come off a thirteen and a half hour flight. Hmm. I'll tell you tomorrow. Right. Um. But yeah. The pillows seem nice as well. I didn't realise these were here. So we've got sanitary stuff, shower caps, combs, dental kits, a toothbrush and toothpaste. Very, very handy. What are your thoughts on that room, babe? Um, it was lovely, clean, comfortable, had everything we needed. Um, I'd happily stay there again, stay there for longer. I Comfortable can, bed. I can definitely say the aircon works. <laughs> aircon definitely works. It's cool and it, and it works very well. The shower was good. The shower pressure was good. It was really, really hot, which is what I like from a shower. Um, and the toilet was really, really good. Apart from today when it stopped working. I think it needs a clean, maybe? clean of the water. The water sure. pressure is probably gone and it needs cleaning. Yeah. So we'll have a little look around the hotel. Let's, let's uh, have a look. We spent a couple of hours around the pool the other day. So we'll show you the pool in a second, but we'll show you the lobby area, the restaurant that we didn't use first, and then we'll show you the pool. This is the main driveway into the hotel. Now directly across there on that side is Universal. So to get to Universal from here and all of the other Resort World stuff, you can walk to the left there, or there is a path here, and you go straight along this path and down some stairs to the Imbia monorail station and also the top of uh, Sentosa Sensory Escape, or you can walk down there and walk along the road, the bus stops are down there as well. There is a 7-Eleven shop just over there, along with some restaurants, and then you've got the main water feature to the entrance. We'll walk to the, the lobby in a second, which is just that way, but you can also get into the hotel once you're checked in. This way, uh, there is a door just around that corner, which we'll show you on the other side. We're just getting to the lobby now. It's where the taxi drop-off is. And the bell services desk. 
Just over there is the Outpost Hotel. You can go and use the One Altitude Bar in that hotel as well. This is the lobby. With the check-in desk right there. Also check out, we've got little stairs for the kids. Help them up. You can also head out into the car park through that door. And then this is the main lobby area. There's a little supply depot where you can get some snacks and some drinks early in the morning and a coffee shop. And then beside there is the native kitchen, which is the main restaurant. It's also the bar of this hotel. And there's that other door that I mentioned to go back out there. There are some restrooms down in this corner. If you need a wheelchair accessible restroom, there's one right in the end there, and it is very, very good, isn't it, babe? It is, yes, very good. It is. Morning. Morning. Everybody is very friendly here and helpful. Up those uh, escalators leads to the pool deck, which you can use, also use the lift. And then finally, over here in the lobby is an ATM. We're going to take you back a couple of days when we went to the pool deck later on in the evening. So we'll see you up there. We've come down to the pool area. A fish pond. There's so many fish in here. Yeah. Can you see them though? There's a couple of pools and a lazy river here. Great hotel for family. A little seating area. Yeah. Well, here's a pool. We want to go in the big pool though, don't we? Yeah. Which looked really nice. So uh, that, that's a kid's pool, I take it. It looked really nice last night on, on top of the outpost hotel. <laughs> found a spot this is our lounger we'll chill yep the pool bar looks like it's still open so we'll grab a drink there and there's the nice pool which is quite busy the pool complex also has a lazy river it's getting darker now so there's a lazy river this set of pools over here of the top are pretty cool as well so there's lots of areas for Pools, obviously the busiest one is down at the pool bar. We've now moved hotels from the village, so we're gonna give you our closing thoughts on what we thought about that hotel and its area. We're now our next hotel, so ignore the background, different hotel. What do you think about the village? Um, I thought for the cost of it, it was comfortable, really nice. The whole atmosphere was just chilled. The smells that were being pumped in the air were really nice. The room was perfect for me, the shower was hot, the shower seat was comfortable, um, it was clean, Probably the clean. It. It's probably the cleanest hotel and hotel room that I've ever stayed in. I would probably, yeah, I would probably say the same, it was like, very clean. It, for being just a, a, a budget-friendly family hotel, it, it was really, really good. The service was top-notch. The cleanliness was fantastic, like nothing, it, like normally when you're like sitting on the loo or whatever, you, you, you can see in the corners of the rooms, dirt and all that kind of stuff, none of that, like it was spotless. But talking about the toilet though, that's one of the highlights. Yes, the toilet was amazing, yeah. you can wash yourself front and back, it's a Japanese toilet, it had the dryer and everything, it's the best toilet I've been on since I've been, since I've been here. The pool area is really cool as well, and if you're staying in the outpost, you can use their pool. You can use that pool as well as the village uh, pool. If you're staying in the village. You can only use the village pool complex. But there's enough pools going on there. Enough things going on in that pool area and the pool bar. Um, you can sit in the pool at the pool bar, and that's a rare thing uh, over 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 here that I've seen. Yeah, the pool was the pool was lovely. The different layers to it, and it's got a lazy a lazy pool as well that you can yeah. go around. I think it's got a kids pool and some jacuzzis as well. And, and as the day progresses, the, the nighttime lights come on and it makes it look really pretty. Looks really, really nice. The location of it is spot on as well. It's really close to everything that you need, all the main stuff that you need to do on Sentosa. And it's right next to like a few minutes walk 
to the monorail and there's, a, there's the bus network right outside. Yeah. It's like really, really easy to get around from there. And just a really nice location. There's, and you've got the, the mess hall over the, the road, which has got some restaurants in yeah. and also 7-Eleven as well. Only downside would be for me is that the, the hotel itself doesn't have a bar. So you've got the pool bar. You have to be in the pool to use it. There's no like outside the pool, but you have to get in the pool to get your drink. There's no outside part, which is not good if you're not going in the pool. And that there is no other bar in the hotel. There's like a bar in the restaurant in Native Kitchen, but it's, you're sat in a restaurant, it's, you're not sat in a bar. So that's probably the only only downside, really. No, I think the, everything else is brilliant. The pool, the pool chairs are not comfortable. Oh, the no. The round ones were uncomfortable. That was the only yeah. thing for me. Two things then, two Painful. things. <laughs> and that's like, neither of them are essential like yeah. they're written if you're going to sunbathe for a while obviously the chair is important yeah we, we enjoyed our stay there and we'll ha would happily stay there again uh, it cost something like 110 pounds per night in pounds don't know what it would be in dollars we, we paid in pounds About 110 per night 120 something like that but the price is very uh, definitely good value to stay there i would yeah? agree it's it's easy to get to universal studios as well um jump on the monorail over Avivo City. We did it different to everybody. Everybody else normally does the city, then goes to relax, but we needed to relax. We did it first. We did it the opposite way. It worked. And that's uh, our review and tour of the Village Hotel Santosa. Thanks for watching, guys. Keep making memories. Catch you later. We're in the Pan Pacific Singapore, by the way, so if you like this, if you're interested in this hotel, watch out for that video.